Happy Tuesday. Thanks for clicking to WYTV.com. I'm meteorologist Ryan Halicki. The storm system that's brought us a soggy Tuesday exits the area overnight. Behind it is where all the colder air is. Now, thankfully, we've dodged most of the wintry side of this. We won't dodge the colder temperatures, but the snow, well, that will stay well to our north. So going through this evening, continuing to watch for some showers, some sprinkles. That cold front passes through overnight. Our evening stays mild, but then there will be a very quick drop in temperatures toward daybreak. Now, I wouldn't rule out a passing flurry or a sprinkle very early in the morning as that cold does set up for us. But as we go further into the day, chances of precipitation fade. In fact, we'll see uh, our skies becoming or staying mostly cloudy all day long, kind of looking dreary but dry as we come up on the afternoon. Temperatures, while they drop to the low 30s, may rebound back to the mid 30s in the afternoon. Overall, pretty uneventful Wednesday, but you're going to notice it, it will be much colder and blustery winds in place will keep those wind chills a factor through the afternoon. Now for Wednesday night, temperatures, they do turn colder. I am looking for lows dropping toward the lower 20s into our Thursday morning. And you also start to see as we come up on daybreak Thursday, a few snow showers showing. There is a chance for a couple snowflakes around during the daylight hours of our Thursday. The next storm system that I'm watching, the one that you've likely been hearing about all week long so far, comes into Thursday night. Now, this is one that we need to watch closely. I do expect this to have impacts on travel conditions as we come up on the latter part of our Thursday and especially into Friday morning. So what we're going to watch is this storm system coming out of the south, starting off as a chance there for snow into Thursday evening. Now, we'll have the risk for some accumulating snow before a changeover in the area to you see that pink shade. That would be that wintry mix. We're talking sleep possible, freezing rain possible in there. The other thing that I'm watching is how much warm air this storm system can pull in. Notice as you're seeing the green shade, that rain showing very close to at least southern parts of the viewing area. There's a chance that parts of the area overnight go over to a little rain that would help out with travel concerns. Of course, if we can go above that freezing mark into Friday, we'll still have that mixed bag early on before making a changeover back to snow and then that storm system exit. So what we're watching for here, I expect this to start off as snow in to Thursday evening. Coming up on Thursday night, wintry mix developing. That would be sleet and freezing rain possible for us and continuing through the night. Now, I expect both an accumulation of a little bit of snow possible and also freezing rain. That does look like the bigger scenario here, more of a freezing rain setup for us with an accumulation of perhaps a glaze up to a tenth or a quarter of an inch possible. That would have some big impacts on travel going through the overnight and into the morning. So that window where I do expect travel conditions to become a little rough starts Thursday evening and then continues Thursday night into Friday morning. By Friday afternoon as that storm system exits, that'll give crews some time to start catching up and we'll look for some improvements on those roadways. So this is still an evolving storm system. We're going to continue to fine tune that forecast as we get better data in. We'll hone in on those accumulation amounts as we come up on tomorrow and especially as we come to our Thursday. For the next 24 hours, still keep an eye out for ponding on the roads here tonight after our soaking rain for today. Those showers letting up, but there's going to be some residual standing water. Black ice ice is also possible as temps fall toward the freezing mark coming up on tomorrow morning. Overnight, it's some scattered showers and sprinkles around by daybreak, perhaps a flurry early on. Most of that precipitation will be fading. I expect, though, it to be a pretty blustery day overall. We could see those wind gusts uh, approaching that 30 mile per hour mark overnight at times and still brisk wind tomorrow with 34 the high. So that means the feels like temp will be down in the 20s through the day on Wednesday. Thursday, isolated snow shower or two possible through the day. It's Thursday nights that I'm paying close attention to. We'll see into the late evening there some snow developing that then goes over to that chance for a wind wintry mix here overnight. So slick travel concerns expected into Friday morning. That wintry mix to start going back over to snow before that storm system exits. After that does move through, we get a dry start to the weekend Saturday, a chance for a little bit of snow Sunday. And if we can call that warmer after our recent warm up here, those temps do look a little bit warmer next Monday and Tuesday.